This is talking about crude oil plus petroleum products, your diesels and your jet fuels. Uh, the U.S. is still by far the largest importer of crude oil, imports just under 8 million barrels per day. Uh, China imports, it came in at a record high, the latest data, which is around 6 million barrels per day. Average is still around 5.6, 5.8 for China. Uh, so there's still a big gap to bridge. What this is talking about is if you add that and then deduct the petroleum exports that the U.S. does, so the U.S. does export gasoline and diesel, yes, the net number maybe by next year the U.S. is going to be lower than China. Why is it that the U.S. is now importing less than China? Is it solely to do with the development of its own uh, shale gas fracking industry or are there other factors at play here, internal factors? I think uh, the most of the hype obviously is around shale and that's where the most of the focus is and of course it's played a big part. It's definitely reduced uh, import requirements in the last couple of years but what people often miss is that the first leg down in US imports from 2007 onwards was purely to do with domestic demand. Domestic demand was falling, import requirements fell and now that the the economy is doing better and oil consumption is doing a lot better as well. Imports this year, strangely enough, has actually flatlined. It's around 7.5 to 7.8. So it's really not gone down this year, despite all the shale developments. That seems that a lot of the uh, oil exporters of uh, the global community are now increasingly chasing uh, Asian Absolutely. customers. The American point of view, they are solely focused on shale and is the whole talk about energy independence, which I do think it's a bit overdone because there are issues with the quality of the oil and it's very new still. But I think the point you make is the most important one because of the growth in China and in India. Everybody's diverting their attention. The Middle East, Africa, Russia, new pipeline uh, to China, Latin America, Venezuela, Mexico, all of them, which does mean that if, for whatever reason, shale doesn't work out, much like Europe, which is really facing a dearth of crude supplies, America might be in a similar situation where, because everybody's now focused towards giving oil to Asia, there isn't that many exporters coming into the U.S.